test and for example the capital test and that's just an example of what you can do for meta keywords okay now for the email this is really important if you want to reset your password so I recommend that you use your real email so put in your real email um, my email at um, gmail.com since I'm not going to put in mine admin admin password make sure you choose something that you'll remember so in this case I'll just put test and then you can install the sample data the sample data is really a great thing to have if you're new to Joomla so you can see here you can populate the database with data so that you can you can get an idea of what it'll look like so in this case I will actually install the sample data just click it and wait a second it will actually um, install the sample data it'll say it's installed successfully next click next and then you can now you can remove the installation folder um, you actually have to do that so let's do it remove the installation folder we'll say the installation folder is successfully removed now if you're not using Joomla 1.7 you'll see a dialog saying that you need to do it manually um, if you need to do that you'll need to use your uh, FTP or um, in some cases um, um, the other secure one secure uh, um, uh, SSH so uh, once you've done that you'll see all this information and then you can view your site just click on the site thing here very top so this is what Joomla looks like by default this is just the default um, Joomla and you can see how this is laid out so now it's time to explain how Joomla works you can see this here is the uh, content Joomla and below are module positions and you can see what and module positions if you want are like little snippets they are little things that you can move around little um, uh, smaller parts of articles usually with read more so you can know that they're in the module if they say read more um, that's not always the case but um, in this case you can see read more below the modules um, and modules uh, are there are several different positions for modules uh, within Joomla and any other template that you download and uh, this one um, will have a specific name this one as well this could be like center left and right okay um, and then everything else is uh, menus. So manual sample sites. You can just navigate to that. You can see um, um, the first site is sample site about. Okay, so you can see all this information. Um, you can do tabs in Joomla. So all these things are great features. And in a co and in a, a co the content, you usually see a print and an email, depending on what template you're using. All right. So that's what Joomla is um, with modules and. Um, and the, the menu. So menus, let me just explain what menus are. Menus are what you see up here. So these are menu items. And menu items are basically like the things you click on at the very top and it could be at the very bottom like that, like over here. Um, in this case there are no bottom menus. Um, and sometimes there are drop down menus um, and those, those can happen uh, within different templates. Um, as well, um, there are um, you can have menu item you can have several menus so you can have a bottom menu and a top menu and then here's the sidebar so um, each of these it would be a different menu okay great so let's get started on um, setting up our website um, online so what you need to do uh, if you've decided what you want for Joomla if this is what you want what you need to do is have your uh, template ready so if, if this isn't the template you want I recommend that you download another template so uh, some of the best templates I know of uh, are rocket theme um, there's ice theme and there's uh, s5 I like s5 quite a bit too um, shape 5 so um, you can look at those and there's many others all you need to do is google it so what happens now is you'll have your website uh, say you've designed it on your local host which is a great idea you'll probably want to uh, upload it so what you need to do to upload it is uh, just find a server and once you find your server make sure that you have the uh, the um, all the FTP information um, and then upload your files to the um, public HTML underscore HTML and then uh, in most cases www as in web and what you'll need to do once you do that is to either uh, some some uh, hosting servers have an, uh, an a direct um, uh, restore from an older database or you can import your database directly through the uh, cPanel or PHP my admin and so let's go back to PHP my admin and learn how to import a database 
So the most important thing uh, you need to do first is export that database. So let's go back to test and look at what the database looks like. So this is the database here, and you can see all the um, all the entries here. And what we want to do here is export this here. So let's go to the export tab, and we can select what kind of file we want to export. And in this case, X X SQL is a great uh, format to export to. And we can choose whether we want it zipped or un or gzipped or all the other things that we might want. This default is fine. So let's go to go right at the bottom right here. Click that and it will download test.sql now when you go log back in um, to your um, to your actual host uh, you'll, what you'll see is you'll have to create a new database let's go test 2 alright now what you can do is you can go to this test 2 here and what you can do is you can import that SQL file and you can see right here file to import I'm just going to browse for this SQL file, go down here, SQL, and then just go to go. Cool. Now you can see that my test2 dot s uh, under test underscore two uh, dot SQL has been imported. Once you've done this, all you need to do is copy your files directly to that Joomla site and edit the Joomla of uh, the um, the uh, default or the PHP file for Joomla, which is located right here. Let's look at it. So let's go back to um, the um, the Joomla website that we've created. So let's go to test website and take a look at it. So let's see, like right here, here's configuration.php, and I'll just take a look at at that in Dreamweaver right now. Pull up Dreamweaver right here. All right, so I've opened Dreamweaver here. All right, so I've opened Dreamweaver here, and I can see a bunch of things that are going on in this PHP file. Right now, I can see that there's some basic configuration that is here. For example, the site name is Test Website, and the offline message is This site is down for maintenance. These are strings. And I can also see my help URL, my host name, and and this might need to be changed to your actual name, so your username on the uh, cPanel. Accordingly, you may need to change your password. And all that is configurable here for the database that you will be, you have created under test two. So let's look for the uh, database your um, the uh, database name, and you can see right here database type is MySQLi host is localhost. And database name is test, but in this case, we want it to be called test underscore two. So let's change that back to test underscore two. Make sure that the username and password are set. In this case, there is no password, and most cPanels won't allow you to use that. So make sure that you change that so that you have all your files set up accordingly, or else when you view your website, that will not work, and it will not be able to connect to the database. All right. Once you've done that, save your file. Go to Save As. Save it to the right place under your test website, too, and your on your on your uh, FTP server. And once you've done that, all you need to do is open up your your website in the F in your uh, through through your uh, web hosting service, and it should work just fine. All right. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know. Let's go to the next thing. I'll close this down. Let's go back to Joomla here. I'd like to walk you through how to use the back end. So now I'm back in my test website, and I'd like to show you how to use the administrative interface in the background. And to add, add, to add content, or to, or to uh, add what articles are there, all you need to do is append administrator to the home page. And I will type in test is my password and now I see this for my back end this is what the Joomla back end looks like you can see the version name here you can see a lot of other things you can do such as adding articles categories and menus so let me just go over how the article category and menus work if you want to view it like this first of all you have art first of all you have the categories 
you, are, you can have as many categories as you want. Now, if you're using Joomla 1.5, there's something called sections. And sections, let's use let's use a Joomla 1.5 example first. First, you have sections. Then you have categories. And then you have menu items. Okay. And inside those menu items, those can contain articles if you want to view it like that. However, it's not always like that. And most of the time, what you have is categories and articles inside those categories. So let's go to Category Manager and take a look at some of the basic categories they have. And as you can see, the categories are nested. In Joomla 1.5, what we have is sections with categories. But it's a lot different here because all you have is categories, since sections are just, in a sense, of categories, but in a broader sense. In this case, we have sample data articles. Inside that is Joomla. You can see extensions, components. All these things are categorized accordingly. And note that we're not seeing everything. Click this display uh, combo box right here and select all. When you do, you'll see all the categories. And the same applies to any article. Let's look at our articles here by going to content, article manager. We can see all of the articles that are here. We can click on one of them. Let's say we go to um, Australian Parks. And we can see what it looks like. Here's a picture right here. And then there's all the information. This right now is a WYSIWYG editor. This is called Tiny MCE. However, many other editors can be installed in Joomla. I can configure things such as the user who made it, article options such as showing the title, showing the intro text, and many other things that I will not go over. Let's close this now that you can see the, how an article works. But keep in mind the category was park site. Here's something called components. Components are basically um, different ways to deal with um, your media usually media or um, or other things such as content, banners, messaging. You can send messages to each other. They're essentially, um, they're essentially plugins that you can add to Joomla. They are plugins, they're extensions. And they work uh, within, um, the, uh, within Joomla. So uh, within the back end and within the front end. Let's go to Extension Manager to take a look at what we can do here. So you can actually install extensions or package files, and these files will be in a .zip or .gzip file format. Or you can simply install them from a directory, which you can you could have uploaded to your FTP, or you can install from a URL. And the most common thing you'll do is you'll be installing from a single zip file. Let me show you how that works. We'll click this. Here is something called Rock Candy. I will install. Let's go to Rock Candy. Upload and install. Alright, so uh, now I'm at the extensions uh, manager in Joomla in the back end, and uh, I'd like to show you how to you how to install some uh, some extensions. So an extension is basically uh, an addition to the Joomla code, and what happens when you install an extension is it essentially Joomla moves the uh, files within the extension uh, into the uh, the uh, file structure of the actual Joomla website. So what happens when you install a file and the file will normally be in zip or, d or gzip all you do is you go to choose file and in this case I'll choose the gantry uh, theme, the gantry uh, bundle. Just go to click this, open, install and I can see that all of this has been installed with the country, which is great. So, let's now go to the template manager and set our radiance theme as default that we installed before. Let's view the site. And we can see that our site has been changed dramatically from something that was kind of different to this, which is a very professional looking website. 